Hey everybody, it's Bent Rod here. I'm just out on the Fraser River um, fishing spinners. These are Cascade spinners for Chinook salmon. Um, yeah, these, uh, I'll show you these spinners I'm using. So I uh, paint, airbrush paint, and make these spinners myself. And uh, we call them Cascade spinners because that type of blade there is called a Cascade blade. It has a short, sort of like a willow leaf, willow leaf shape with some f what's called fluting on here. That's what makes it, that's what, if it has that, it's called a cascade blade. Now these type of spinners can come with Indiana blades, French blades, all kinds of different blades, but I prefer the cascade blade for the real distinct thump, thump, thump that it gives. Um, I've had my best success on since I started using cascade blades, and I've had my best success since I started, success since I started making my own, too. Uh, experimenting with colors and be different colored beads and hook types and all different types of stuff, so yeah. So yeah, at Bent Rods we make and sell these. Um, you can get them at a bunch of different tackle stores. We also sell them online. So you know, if you wanted to contact us, we're www.bentrods.ca, and uh, we got a PayPal site, and you can come on our website and buy anything you need, or even give us a call if you just want to talk about it. Um, right now I'm anchored up in the Fraser. We're using a diver to get the spinner down, and because in the Fraser this time of year it's often quite dirty the water. And so the best color for me is always bright fluorescent colors. No, I don't really stick, I don't really use the metallic finishes. I'm, and this time of year, I mostly use just like the chartreuse. This one here is called the turtle. That's one I invented last year. It was just deadly last year for Chinooks. This particular spinner right here has caught a bunch of fish. You can see when they bite it, they actually will chip it with their sharp teeth. So that one's just a straight, uh, called, they call that one the green dot or the light bulb. And uh, that's a fantastic spinner. So this is the kind of thing I use when the water's dirty. Um, another, a couple other examples. This one here, which is the white, um, the white with green and chartreuse. That's a size seven. So these spinners that I make, they come in size 4.5, 6, and 7. And uh, quite honestly, in the Fraser, I tend to use the sevens the most. But when I start try getting into different fisheries, like trolling or fishing in a little bit smaller rivers or fishing in clear water, I'll switch the sizes around. So to give you an example on sizes, we'll show you here. Um, so we got a turtle here. This is the number six spinner right here. And then that's your number seven spinner. So you can see the difference. Quite a bit of difference there. This one's a real thumper when you're really trying to get their attention. This one's toning it down a bit. And then hopefully I have a, one of my small ones with me. Here's my other case. This has a lot of my other colors in it. Um, here we go. Here's my 4.5s. So there's one, no hook on it yet. I got to put a replacement hook on it. That's a 4.5 uh, white green chartreuse. Here's a 4.5 uh, chartreuse in orange. That one's a really good spinner. So just in comparison, we'll, we'll compare it to this guy right over here. So that's your number six spinner, and that's your 4.5, and you can see it's quite a bit smaller. And this 4.5 size is often what we'd use when we're trolling in shallow uh, estuaries, like mouths of rivers, or, uh, where the ocean, where a river pours out into the ocean. Trolling, you know, trolling in the, in, and the water's clear, so you troll that 4.5, or you can troll the number six. And we don't troll the number seven too much, but we will use to troll the number seven if, if the water's quite dirty. But um, yeah, so here's some of the different colors I make. I have, I have blue and brass right here. Blue and brass. Blue and white. It's number seven, blue and white. Here's a number seven, blue with a, with a chartreuse dot. These blue ones I use quite often in the clear water in the fall, the Harrison River and stuff like that. When the water starts to clear up, the blue can really turn on. Um, here's orange with a purple dot. I saw that one. I got, uh, here's another one here. It's number seven, pink with a chartreuse tip. This one's got a hoochie on it. Quite often you'll see hoochies on the back. Um, there's a couple things I do. I also will, uh, um, spider thread a piece of prawn on the hook or else put a row sack on there or uh, just use a squid like this. I'll rub scent on the blade. 
Um, some of my blades I've started to airbrush now with what's called UV paint, which is UV, UV blast. is a clear coat that you put over top of any painted color that makes it glow UV in the water, which apparently is helping, it's supposed to help it, uh, fish see it in the dirtier water. And all my newer spinners coming out now, the, the size, so you have So a size 7 spinner will come with a 3 aught sickle sidewash hook. And the number 6 spinner will come with, the, with a 2 aught sickle sidewash hook. And these 4.5 spinners will come with a 1 0 sickle sidewash hook. And yeah, these are all, uh, you know, this, this particular one right here is a fantastic pink with a purple dot. It's fantastic for trolling for cold salmon. Had great success with this one trolling for cobos, and uh, often you'll see me uh, again. You'll see a little hoochie on my hook quite often. So that's a basic rundown of my Cascade spinners. I give them a try. I think you'll really like them. Uh, ever since I started using the Cascade spinners, I've really kind of given up on the spinning glows. I find any condition where a spinning glow would work, a, sp a Cascade spinner will work as good or quite often better. If you'd like to talk any more about color selection, just look us up at www.benrods.ca and give us a call or an email and we'll get you all hooked up with the exact colors you need to really get out there and catch some salmon. Tight lines and bed rods.